Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing things that I am loving right now. So this is a favorites video. I have been wanting to film one of these for a, for a while now. Alright, so the first item, I'm going to start with the food first because I have some cream and I don't need this sitting out too long. So first item that I love right now is this silk almond milk creamer. It's in the flavor caramel and... I've been trying to like slowly but surely switch over to dairy free. Uh, I struggle with it, but I have been happy to find some alternatives that I do like. Like I do enjoy drinking almond milk now. I have convinced myself that it's the same as milk. Um, a lot of people say that they don't think it's the same, but I like it. So the Silk brand came out with their own creamer. I don't know how new this is, but I'm, it's kind of new to me. For like the last three months or so, I've been finding it in the store and I found out that Target is the only place that I can find right now that actually sells the big thing of the caramel. But just this alone has really good flavor to it and it has no dairy. So this is definitely a favorite of mine and I literally drink it like every day. One other Food, well, food item, food or drink item that I've been loving, I don't have it with me, but they are the Body Armor drinks, and I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but it's the Body Armor sports drinks. They're kind of like a Gatorade, but they're made with coconut water or something like that. Basically, I like them all. I haven't had one that I don't like, so that is definitely a current favorite right now. So, moving along to beauty products that I'm loving I'm gonna start with skincare first because let me tell y'all this stuff right here that I'm loving has changed my skin tremendously so the product is rose hip oil and I have two different brands I have one by Sonoma Naturals and one by Life Flow and this one is the pure rose hip seed oil and this one is just like a face treatment serum I prefer the Sonoma Naturals one. This rose hip oil has literally transformed my skin's texture. Um, it's helped with moisturizing my skin because I've said in a few videos before, like I have um, eczema and I have dry patches that form on my face sometimes and there's nothing I can do to control like them coming or going but this has helped to maintain my skin and it's helped me to have like a smoother texture and not such rough patches or rough skin. I love it. Like I absolutely love it. And I usually just put it on my face in the morning and at night. So twice a day um, I put it on and I also still put on like my moisturizer as well. So for that I have been loving. It has really worked for me and it was very inexpensive. I picked mine up at TJ Maxx and I think... The Sonoma Naturals one was like $8 and this other one is by Life Flow. It was about $6. Another skincare product, I guess you can, I'll put this in skincare um, category that I've been loving, is this face mist. It's just a hydrating face mist and it's by The Body Shop. And this is actually the Vitamin E um, line. They have a few different ones. They have like, I think a vitamin C one or something like that, but they have different lines. This is the vitamin E line in the pink bottle and it's just like a hydrating face mist. And I like it because before I started to use the rose tip oil, some days I would just take this and I would spray it on my face in the morning like a, kind of like a moisturizer, but not act exactly a moisturizer. Like I would use it in combination with my moisturizer. And you also probably can use this as like I have. I don't know if this was marketed for, but I've used this as a face setting spray too. Just, just like a makeup setting spray. And it works really good. So in the same family, not necessarily skincare, but body care. I have been loving this. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Smith. Smith. Or I'm not sure, but this is a popular natural deodorant brand and I actually picked mine up again at my favorite store TJ Maxx and it was only $3.79 and it's normally about $6 or $7 so I went ahead and tried it from TJ Maxx 
because it was at a discounted rate. And I've been wanting to try natural deodorant, but I was just kind of like too scared, I guess you can say, to try it. But this one has been a favorite of mine because it actually works. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid that I was going to try natural deodorant and it was not going to really work for me. But this one, it actually works and it actually has a decent smell. A lot of natural deodorants, because they're naturally scented and things like that, they have like terrible smells. And I'm not about to walk around smelling like aloe vera juice or um, mint or anything. I don't know. They usually stink. But this is the rose and vanilla scent and it actually smells good it does so i've been loving this natural deodorant it is been working for me and just a disclaimer i'm not a person that sweats a lot so i don't know i mean it works for me another body product that i've been loving has been like pure castile soap so basically i was using a dr Bronner soap for a while i use it on my face in the shower wash well I don't wash clothes with it but you can wash clothes with it like if something got in my carpet I'll scrape it out with that it's just like an all-purpose soap you can use it for like virtually anything and I was using the Dr. Brunner's soap and I was just using the unscented one and only dislike I had about the Dr. Brunner soap was how thin it was and I understand you're supposed to dilute it and stretch it but it just wasn't feeling like I, I guess I'm used to soap sudden up and stuff like that, that I felt like it wasn't working for me. So with that being said, I went ahead and I picked up this um, Dr. Jacobs. So it's, <laughs> I don't know if it's an off brand, a knockoff, but this bottle right here, which is a 32 ounce, was about $13. So I mean, can't be too off brand. It was still pretty expensive. But this is a Dr. Jacobs All Natural Pure Castile Almond Honey Soap. And this is a face and body wash. It's like double the cleansing power, blah, 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 blah. The reason that I like this one so much is that it's like thick. It's like normal soap consistency. It reminds me of like, I guess like shampoo or conditioner or something. That's the kind of consistency it has. And it's a lot thicker than the Dr. Bronner soap. So I actually can use like one squirt of this. And I actually feel like I'm getting my whole body clean with one dollop. I really like this. This has been a major favorite. So I will be repurchasing this from Walmart. And that's why I purchased it. I don't know if I mentioned, but I did purchase this from Walmart. And you don't have to worry. I will be repurchasing this because it was it was a good it was a good buy. So that's basically practically it for my skin and my face as far as skincare goes. The last um, thing that I have is like hair products. And I only have two hair products. No, I lied. I only have four hair products. And um, some of these things I have been looking for a while, while, while. But um, a few of them I just discovered like a month or two ago. So, bam. This. Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner. It's like honey treasure. So it says royal jelly honey. I don't know what that says. Extract. So blah, blah, blah. This conditioner is the bomb.com for your natural hair, for weaves, for anything. And it's not very expensive. It's only about $4 maybe at Walmart for this size bottle. And it's a 12.5 fluid ounce. Like I love it. I, I just love it. I don't even know what else to say besides just try it because it's so cheap that you should definitely try it. But my hair feels so soft when I condition it with this and it actually smells pretty good too. It smells like, it smells like almond and honey type thing. Kind of gives me the same feel of this. So these are definitely some good products. Like all of this stuff, I definitely highly recommend it or else I wouldn't be putting it in my video. Another hair product that I've been loving is this Carol's Daughter hair milk so this is a leave-in moisturizer and it's like pretty thick consistency like like a lotion type of thing and this says that it's for kinky for curls coils kinks and waves and I use this on my natural hair and it works pretty pretty good I just don't like the smell of it but this is the first leave-in conditioner that I've actually tried that I feel like my hair stays moisturized with 
So a lot of leave-in conditioners that I tried in the past, they condition my hair or they like make it feel moisturized at the moment, but an hour or two later, my hair feels like I put nothing in it, like it's bone dry. So this one actually moisturizes my hair and it stays moisturized. So another hair favorite that I've been loving is this Wild Growth Hair Oil. And I love this particularly for the type of bottle that it comes in and the thickness of the oil. So this oil right here, it actually really moisturizes my hair really good. My scalp feels great after I use it. And when I have like braids, I can just stick the nozzle in my hair and kind of roll it around on my scalp. And I can literally moisturize my hair really, really good with this. The only downfall, just like the Carol's Daughter, is this stuff smells terrible. It smells medicated or something like that. So I really, I just don't like the scent. I hate the scent, but I use it and I just try to use it like at night. So hopefully by morning it has soaked in my scalp and my hair and it doesn't smell as strong. But it works really good. As far as hair growth goes, my hair grows like a wild weed anyway. So I'm not really sure if this has had any play in my hair growing the way it grows. Because I'm always protective style and I always have braids or sew-in or wig or something on. So my hair is always growing, quite honestly. So I'm not sure how it works for hair growth. But as far as moisturizing and the convenience of it, I love the wild hair growth oil. So the last hair favorite that I have is this Style Factor Edge Booster. And I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. I hear a lot of YouTubers rave about this stuff and how good it is and how well it is, but I wasn't sure where to purchase it and I ran into one of the beauty supply stores near me and they had it so I went ahead and picked it up and I can agree that I love this stuff. It does work really good and it has a very good strong hold. I have saw some like residue or white cast coming from this, but I think that it comes from buildup so you have to make sure your edges are clean and free of products when you're going to be using these edge controls and that goes for any edge control or else it's going to flake and cake up on you like you can't just build edge control on top of edge control and expect it not to cake up or flake so this edge control works really well has a really good strong hold and the best thing about it, the reason why I'm putting this in my favorites, is, are the scents. So I picked up the pineapple scent, and this stuff smells delicious. Like I want it, I just want to eat it so bad, but I'm not trying to die, so I know I can't eat it. But this stuff, this stuff smells great. Like I haven't had a chance to smell the other scents, but the pineapple scent smells like delicious. And it, so I only have a few more products left to talk about as favorites and one of them are these Bose headphones. Bose Sound Sport free wireless headphones. So these are some Bose wireless headphones. These actually aren't mine and my husband made his point to say make sure you you mention those aren't really yours you just stole them but these are actually his but I use them like every day at work. The people at my job are like fascinated by them. They're like what are those? Where do you get those? And they're cool because they come with this case. They kind of remind me of AirPods um, because they come with a case and the case charges the headphones. Um, they're like these little orange pods and you just put them in your ear like this and you're ready to go. The only thing I don't like is they're not as sleek as I would like them to be. But when you have your hair down, no one can see them at all. So. And you can also talk into the headphones too. And it gives out a really good sound. So completely loving these. I love the fact that I can charge them in the case. So I hardly ever have them go dead on me. Because the case is charging them for me. And I just need to charge the case maybe once a week. It holds charge for like a week or two. Seriously it holds charge. And I use them every day. So definitely a good purchase. I think these are about $200 headphones. They're kind of in the range of Beats. So I mean, if you're in the market for some headphones, check those out because they do work really well and they give out bomb sound because they are Bose and Bose is known for a great sound. So those are really good headphones. Speaking of favorites, while I'm right here, 
This definitely is a favorite of mine. I didn't even think about it. Canon remote to my camera. So I'm sitting a good distance away from my camera right now. Remote comes in handy because I can just start the camera, focus myself, all of that from over here. So definitely a favorite. If you have a Canon DSLR, I definitely recommend getting this remote because it's a lifesaver. You can take pictures with it from over here. It's just thebomb.com. So I love it. That is definitely something I'm loving. So this is kind of random. This is another favorite of mine. It's a makeup product. The only makeup product that I had in this video because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately. So I really don't have the option to say what has been a favorite or not. But when I have been wearing makeup and I have been wearing eyeshadow, I've been using this Anastasia Prison Anastasia Beverage. Is it Anastasia or Anastasia? I'm going to say Anastasia because I think Anastasia is a little extra. I don't know which one it is, but Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow palette. And this is the Prism eyeshadow palette. And it has some really cool colors. Like I feel like the colors in this are perfect for summer or fall or just anything because I'm seeing some like this bright neon yellow green in here that could be a summer color I'm seeing some dark like mar maroons and burnt oranges so this could be used for literally anything like it could be used for summer spring fall winter whatever it's a really good staple palette to have and this was gifted to me by my cousin and I've been loving it ever since it works well and it's really small and compact I don't really care for the packaging because it's velvet and it catches a lot of lint but other than that I'm loving this palette right now and it works really well. The last few eyeshadow looks I did like I used this palette and really quick really simple. I even used the brush that come with it like all in one one stop shop for sure. Alright so I'm going to do my last like personal item favorite type, type of situation and then I'm going to go into a few house favorites but this is my all-time favorite it's gonna be a favorite if I film another favorite video this is something that will never change for me it may just change designs but it will always be a favorite and that's my planner because the way I am I'm a Virgo so I'm just gonna be honest I'm a little anal when it comes to planning and cleaning cleanliness and organization stuff like that and planners have changed my life. Although um, you, we have our iPhones and these things like this can basically plan everything you needed to do right on your phone. I'm a little traditional and I like to have a, a actual hard copy of a planner where I can break out my pens and actually write stuff down. But this planner is by Global Printed Products. And I actually ordered this off Amazon. Because I wanted to try this, um, what is this, palm tree print. Because this was like very popular for the summer, the palm tree prints. It was everywhere on all types of house products and print canvases. This has just been a popular print and I really like the print itself. And I like that the planner inside has different quotes at the top of every page. It's a basic planner, has your calendar view. Um, like your calendar view like this and then it also has like your weekly view where you can write down stuff so this is definitely a favorite of mine okay, so as well for my house I'm gonna give you guys just a quick little two favorites as far as house products goes one of them I don't have so I'm gonna go ahead and start with it so the plugins like the Airwick plugins those things are definitely a favorite of mine and I've actually been loving the Snuggle scent. So they have a scent that is like Snuggle and it just smells like fresh washed laundry. And it makes your house smell amazing. So I really like those and those have been something that I've been loving for a few months. I've been consistently buying the same scent for the last few months. Because I feel like it's a good base house scent for your house to smell like fresh laundry. Then you can still come on top with candles or sprays and stuff like that and it doesn't necessarily clash so instead of buying like a fruity scent or something like that I got a base scent 
So my house always smells like that and then I can come back with salted caramel, fall candles or winter candles or fruity candles. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't clash. So that is definitely... So that is definitely something that I've been loving lately. And the last item is this blanket. It is a throw blanket. And I just got it in like this, I guess you would call this like a mustard yellow color. And this was a recent purchase and I love it. Like I just, I don't even have to be under this thing to love it. I just see it sitting on my bed and I'm like, oh my God, that mustard yellow is so cute. It gives it a great pop of color. Like, it screams fall to me. I just love it. I love it. And I have a bunch of gray and white in my house. So far as this being on my bed, it gives it a great pop of color. Or being on my couch, it just gives a pop of color to any room. And it's actually, it's just really beautiful, really soft. And I think this is like a queen size blanket. Yeah, it's a queen size blanket. I got this at Ross. <laughs> and I love it. It's a really good blanket, really soft. And that concludes all of the things that I've been loving right now. I actually have a few more, but I didn't want this video to be too long. So if you guys like this type of video, you like to hear about the products that I'm loving, please let me know and I will film another one of these videos. Like, I could do these like once a month, monthly favorites. Well, no. Once a month might be too often because I don't necessarily get new things like that every month. But I can do these like quarterly or something. Like every three months or so, I can sprinkle these in on my channel. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. I will definitely be filming more. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.